the next mode is color burn and the the color burns um, darken the image by using the color information from the layer on top um, to I think it increases the contrast of the uh, layer underneath so I mean the the white layer the white part doesn't have any effect while the black part has like a full blackout effect there and classic color burn is about the same thing you uh, you use these when uh, I mean you want to get a dark more darker image than uh, if, than if you want multiply than if you multiply so you would use the color burns the next one up is uh, called Linear Burn. And that one usually looks pretty cool. The uh, Linear Burn darkens the image uh, by using the color information of the layer on top to decrease the brightness of the layer on the bottom. So that's how that one works and you can see how it um, works. It's full black down here and not all the way gone with uh, full, wh full white up here. The next one is a uh, darker color and I'm not really too sure how this one works so I don't uh, often use it but uh, that's how you, this is what you can see how it looks it looks like um, when there's a dark image over I mean when there's like a light image over a dark image it like completely blasts out the white and when there's dark on the image or video below it blast out the what's ever on top as you can see there so let's uh, head over to the uh, the lighter ones the first one we'll start with is add so with uh, add the both the images color values are added together and it clips off at the full white there so when you have a dark image put it on top it looks pretty cool and it uh, the whole thing lightens the image a lot of times when you're adding explosions in in uh, visual effects like in a movie you you like to use this this add mode because it helps blend it in better with the background so we'll go to the next one which is lighten and this does just the opposite of what uh, darken does now we can go to uh, screen here which I like to use a lot screen is the opposite of multiply and the color values of the selected layer are scaled above their original values based on the color values of the layer underneath so the uh, layer on top there which is the squish now that I like to use this one when I just want to put something like maybe like scratches or something like that over top of a plain background I'll use screen or multiply depending on what the scratches are colored by and you can get a cool looking scratched up background the next one here is a uh, these uh, color dodges here and uh, a dodge basically takes the uh, the color information from each um, channel so the red green or blue and it applies it um, to the to the uh, bottom image to increase the brightness and that's the same for all these dodges I mean color dodge and classic color dodge kind of look the same and then the linear dodge is kind of like add the add mode so if you look at that they're pretty much the same the last one is lighter color and you can see that that was kind of like the darker color one I'm not too sure how it works but it it pretty much like cuts anything that's uh cuts a bunch of things out I'm not too sure how it works but if it looks cool when you use it on your uh, on your on your project, I mean, use it. So keep always uh, experiment with the blending modes. If you find something cool, then use it.
The next set here, these are uh, lighting uh, blending modes. So the first one is overlay, and I use that one uh, a decent amount. The the lighting ones increase or maybe intensify the the contrast and the saturation in the scene. And um, if you ap apply it to something that's at like 50% gray, it's not really going to do anything. Like as you can see here, where it starts getting into a little gray, but um, or down here, and uh, I mean. Once, once you get away from gray, which is total white or total black, I mean, in between those values, it'll create some interesting effects.